All right, there it is. The craft, I believe the crew on Apollo 17 witnessed, okay? Doesn't it remind you of that flying machine? Yes, indeed. Okay, now look, guys. The, the, the video today is so important, I'm probably going to have to make a part one, part two. There, there's way too much to break down. Um, I've taken old Apollo footage, converted it to 30 FPS, then added filters to bring out all the detail, and I have found some truly incredible things in the video. It's too much to break now, so, alright, I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into it, and I'll be back. Super targeting. We've got, we've got the family mount. We've got, the course, of machine. We can see the scarf. We can see the light panel. I've got the great cross, Camelot, Sherlock. Believe it or not, Houston, they're all there. How about that? I see a uh, possible structure, possible structure in the upper part of the South Mass Seat, uh, a little bit east of uh, Station 2. It's uh, sub-horizontal, dipping to the uh, south east. Houston, I can even see Poppy right where we're going to shut this baby down. Very good. As a matter of fact, I can see Rudolph. I can even see the triangle, Rudolph, Frosty, and Park. Okay, right there, you see the craft. Um, now I'm going to do the best I can to show you everything, uh, but, it, but it's going to take multiple videos. Now right there, that's where they landed. You see the lunar module where the blue dot is. Now in the video, you heard them say, uh, to the southeast, okay, where the arrow is right there. Now notice, that's the furthest point they traveled. They went back to where they saw that craft. If you just map it out, it's not difficult to do. They traveled all the way back from the lunar module, all the way back down to the southeast to investigate that craft. Now, I've also discovered tunnels, uh, flashing lights, weird shadows. For example, that shadow right there, I don't believe, you know, that is um, the, uh, the, the, lunar, the lunar orbiter. Okay, or the module that's about to land, because right now you have the orbiter following the module. Okay, so you have two NASA craft up there, but we have four shadows. You know, so I believe they were being followed. And right here is where they pan down, and there's the tunnel entrance right there. Okay, there's more tunnels right there, and there's the, the craft right there where that little white dot is. There's the tunnels right there. Like I said, guys, a lot to break down. Now remember, they landed northeast of here and went way back down to investigate that craft right there that is what i truly believed have happened and you know i've done i don't know about a week's worth of research on apollo 17 um and i just couldn't i just the, look the more i dig into it the more i find it is truly incredible okay there's the shadow right there now that could be from the module that is about to land but like I showed you earlier, that shadow was in a different location and I counted four shadows. I understand there's also some debris on the camera lens right there, uh, the DAC, the DAC, the DAC camera that they originally used. So I'm not, I'm not looking at, you know, dirt. I'm talking about the actual shadows. And just look at all this stuff going on down there. There's the tunnel entrance, some weird triangular craft. Okay, there's another, uh, possibly a cave? I don't know, okay? Right there, he referred to it as a suborbital uh, structure, okay? When, when he said, you know, we, you know basically he, he spotted a UFO. That's what happened. Um, then, when I went back and watched it, there was also a flashing light. Now, there shouldn't be anything flashing on the moon. You know, like I said, guys, there's so much to break down here. Right here, I added a lot of, uh, a lot of light here, a lot of contrast, just to bring out all the detail. Now that shadow again, I believe that is from the the you know the the moon module, okay? But compare it to the other two shadows and you have four in total, okay? It's crazy. Uh, and I and I believe there's a tunnel entrance. I believe there's caves. I believe uh, there's well, I don't believe it's a fact. See, there's the tunnels, the cave entrance right there. There's the tunnels right there. Okay? There's the craft, there's the UFO right there. We got so much to break down. Now watch this. Boom, right there, flashing light. What is flashing on the moon? 
I mean, I understand there are things that, that are reflective on the moon, but I don't believe that's what it is. I believe it is an alien craft. All right, now we're gonna have another look at the map, okay? Again, there, there's the southeast location right there. You know, why did they travel way back down there? And remember, whenever he spotted the craft, he made a, a verbal note as to where it was located, and that's exactly where they went. You know, so was that predetermined? Or did they decide to go investigate? I believe they decided to go investigate. That's what I truly believe, okay? Um, because that's a very long way to go on the moon. Anyway, just to preview, we're going to thoroughly break this down later. I just kind of wanted to get it out there to let you guys know what I'm working on. Um, and I will have updates and, and I'll be able to kind of present the, the video a little bit better. I just need a little bit more time to work on it. But I wanted to kind of show you guys what I'm working on. So leave a comment below. What do you think so far?